Resnick and I practice podiatry. I work out of the Bethlehem office and the Phillipsburg office. I do treat a multitude of conditions, ranging from pediatrics, which I really do enjoy, but I also treat elderly patients as well. Um, I do have a subspecialty in diabetic foot care and treatment of ulcerations, neuropathy, all of the different problems that a diabetic can face. I also treat a lot of sports. So I really do a multitude of anything that can affect the foot and ankle, but my true specialty is really in the diabetic foot care. I always knew that I wanted to go into medicine in some sort of fashion. My mother worked at a hospital and I went to work with her often and so I was exposed to the operating room because um, she worked in the anesthesia department. So I knew I wanted to do something where I could operate but I also knew that having a family and a personal life is also important. I hail from the Midwest. I was born in Chicago and I went to the University of Illinois undergraduate school. Uh, for medical school, I went out to Iowa and I did my medical school there for four years. I then went back to Chicago and I did my residency where I did a four year surgical residency in Chicago it was at a level one trauma center. Um, and I practiced there and I also came out to New Jersey and did an extra year in New Jersey. Um, I believe that coordinated health has a variety of physicians working that all specialize in different things. I have a specialty in, in taking care of and treating the diabetic foot and we have other podiatrists in our group that have subspecialties in many different areas so no matter what is wrong with the patient we're going to have a physician that truly specializes in that and I think that will offer the patient the best care possible. To ensure long-term treatment of your feet and taking care of your feet is truly in prevention. Monitoring your feet, checking your feet, for if you notice that something is bothering you, it hurts, come to the physician and get it taken care of quickly. Otherwise, if it goes on for too long, it can often be difficult or more lengthy treatment. We can usually take care of things and get you better quickly if you come in quickly as well. Appropriate shoe choices is very, very important. Buying better shoes, not going barefoot is very important, not only for the pediatric population, but also for any pop for adults and elderly folks as well. Um, we do find that so many of the problems that we see come from inappropriate shoe choices. Um, if you can buy a good shoe that fits appropriately, you're going to really avoid coming to see a podiatrist. Most of my free time is spent with my two children. Um, I have two boys that are very active in sports and athletics and of course homework and school but um, we do tend to golf as a family which I'm getting better at and I do enjoy very much. I believe that people should come to Coordinated Health for their foot and ankle care not only because of our physicians having been highly trained in many different facets of podiatry but I also believe that we offer everything that you would need to get better. We have physical therapy services. We have all of the diagnostic services, MRI, radiology services. We really have every specialty and every diagnostic testing available, which makes it convenient for the patient. I have been in practice for over 15 years now, and I have some patients that I that I have seen for 15 years and I really enjoy those relationships that I have built with my patients and I really enjoy hearing about their families, their grandchildren. That's the part I really enjoy about my job is really the, the patient interaction and getting to know them as friends.